Welcome to today's 60 Plus Strong session. I'm Markeisha and I'm your instructor. Today we're going to do a movement-based circuit. So we're gonna get that heart pumping with some cardio. So we're going to come into our nice postural position, please. So shoulders, hips, knees, drop the feet down and relax and stabilize through those feet as we come into warm up. Tighten in through that core, please. And we're going to take our shoulders back. So let's bring our focus straight away into your breathing. So nice, deep, controlled breaths. And that's going to help us through today's session. So just keeping those shoulders moving backwards, staying within your limitations and your range of motion. If there's anything you need to leave out, please do. Let's bring those shoulders back in front, please. So again, really focus on pulling your core in. So again, reminder for that core, we're pulling in between your hip bones. So really tucking that back in. Let's bring those shoulders back again, please. So nice deep breathing. And back in front, please. going to take that arm across okay so we're just really focusing on that breathing at the moment stretching out through the arm through that back and let's take the arm up bring it back down in front. So slight bend through that knee, through the knees, as we take this arm around in front. And let's take the arm up nice and tall, please. that arm down we're going to come into your side to side step so you can take the arms down and keep it in a nice natural swing through if you're wanting to bring it straight up into a little higher tempo you bring an alternating bicep curl through with your side to side steps again we are tight through those core through the core and we have a small bend through the knees as we step out to the side Bring our little march back through, please, as we come into your box step next. So again, arms are hanging nice and freely and or keeping them in our marching position. And we'll take a left, right step, please. So coming out left, right, left, right. So box step out, out, in, in. Again, focus on that breathing. Keep it controlled. And bring our march back through and we're going to take out your right left now. So right left, right left. Out, out, in, in. And 
marching through again. So keeping tight through the core, please. High knees are going to come up. So you can use a chair if we're needing to. You can stay with a high knee or come straight into your knee taps. Remembering we are flat through that rib cage. Standing core work. So really keep this core switched on nice and tight. And let's bring our little march back through, please. And again, really keeping it tight through the core. Come into your calf raises. Again, holding chairs if needing to, or coming into your little jump. So take a deep breath, please. Jump one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the 10. And let's just bring it back down into our march. Taking a few nice deep breaths, please. Come into that side to side. Taking your arms out to the side, please. So again, let's bring that focus into your breathing. As we add the arms in with your leg movements, we may get out of breath a little quicker. So just really focus on that breathing. Bring our little march back down through now, please. So again, a nice deep breath. We're going to come into your box step, including the arms, and we're going to take your left, right step first. So same arm and same leg. Left, right, left, right. Out, out, in, in. Deep breaths as we come back to your march, please. We're going to take your right, left step out now. So again, tight through, right, left, right, left, arm and leg out, out, in, in. And let's just bring our little march back through. And again, really tighten in through the core. We're going to bring our high march. So opposite arm, opposite leg are coordinating up. to bring that one back down and again really tighten into the core coming into the calf raise or a little jump next please so tucking through deep breath in jump up one two three four five six seven eight nine and the ten and we're going to march that one back through now keeping it again nice and tight through the core please Bring those heel taps through in front, swinging the arms through. And take our deep breath as we bring it back through, toe taps back and swinging the arms back from the elbow. So just slowing that breathing down. Let's bring our march back through again, tuck through that core and come into your knee taps. So again, keeping that core tight, keeping the rib cage flat. And we're just going to bring that down and shake through those legs, please. I'll get you to go grab yourselves a little drink.
Okay, I'm going to get you to come back and start in your side to side step to keep this body moving. So today, as we go through a game, we're going to run off a timer. So we're going to have a little bit of a space in between. We're either going to bring it into a side to side step and or a march as we transition through. Please remember to take this class at your own pace. As always, if you're needing to take a break, please take a break. Staying in that side to side step, I'm going to start that timer up. So with our side to side step, we're just going to take a smaller bend through those knees. And we're going to keep your side to side step moving. So really using your outer thigh, really using those glutes. Keeping that core switched on nice and tight through. Can have a swing through those arms if you would like. And I'm just gonna get you to bring our march through now, please. We're going to take your step outs today. So again, just keep it nice and switched on, nice and tight through the core. Please have a chair in front if you're needing to. Now we're going to take your first leg and step out, exhale back through, step, exhale. So you can take the step at your pace. Just make sure we exhale back up. Just bring our march back through. So again, in between, tuck it through, just get that breath back if you're needing to. So some nice deep breathing and let's step, exhale up. Let's just bring that march back through. We're going to come into a box step now, please. So we'll take a right left step first. Again, really focus on the core. When you bring your box step, take a, a little bit more of a bend through the knee. So out, out, in, in. Can bring those arms swinging through a little more. Again, taking it through to your level. So it may be just your arms are swinging naturally by your side and or you pump them through. I'm going to take one more and come back through. We're going to come into the opposite side now and taking out your left right step. So again, when you're ready, make sure we bend through the knee as we come out, out and stand it back through. So you can pump through those arms, taking your box step at your pace. You may want to go a little slower. Let's march that one back through. Now keeping it tight through the core, we are going to come back into those heel taps through in front. So as we bend through, bend the knee, stretch out through, and we're going to work through those hamstrings, tight through the core, swing the elbows through. Again, let's really focus on that breathing, just slow it down if we can. Okay, 
So now I'm just going to get you to come back, please, into the side to side step. We're just going to alternate those elbows, sorry, those arms through, bending at the elbow. Focus on your breathing. This round through, please, bring your heel up to your bottom. Just bring the heels back side to side step. You're going to take a side to side step, double step over with the grapevine through this time. So if you need to bring yourselves a little more to the side, please do. Tight through, step through, crisscross over. Now, if you're needing to stay with just a double step to the side, please do. If you're comfortable with the step behind in the middle, let's add that in. Again, let's just bring that focus back to your breathing. Slow it down, control it through. And come back to the side to side step. Now we'll just get you to bring it into your little march. We're going to take a four step count through. So tight through, we're going to step, step and back together. So just bring back. So step in front. So you can have a little swing through of the hip. Step two, three, four, step. Let's just bring our little march back through. We are going to change your leg. So again, just keep it nice and tight through your core. When you're ready, you can take that other side. Step through. So it's in front, back. One, two, three, four. Focus on your breathing. And let's march that one back through. So keeping it tight through that core, we're going to now bring a knee tap through. So again, flatten through the rib cage, tighten through the core. Don't let the body fold. So really keep it tucked through from the front. Knee taps are coming up. Focus on your breathing. And they're gonna march that through. Let's give the legs a little shake through as we come back into your march. We're going to now come into the side to side step, kicking your heel through in front, this time through, please. So again, we're going to keep it tight through the core as we step that over. So just get a natural flow through those arms.
and we're going to come back to the side to side step. So just bring it back over to the side as we're going to come into a double step to the side this time. So again, really tighten through the core. Take your double steps over to the side. If you're wanting to increase and add that heel kick up, please do. Arms can swing through. We're just going to keep our side to side step but add in the grapevine if we can. Again, heel tap through. So it's our last round for this cardio movement circuit workout, getting that heart rate up. that breathing going. Nelly there. Okay, let's just shake those legs through. Grab yourselves a little drink and we're going to come back and do a little more. We are coming back again into your side to side steps. Really focus on keeping your breathing under control. Again, if you need to take a break, please take a break. When we're adding these movements through, the breath's going to go pretty quickly. So if I'm feeling it, I know that you may be feeling it as well. So we're doing really well and getting this cardio flowing through. Now I'm going to restart. We're going to come back again into your side to side steps, please. So starting side to side step movement, keeping those arms swinging through, please. So again, let's just bring a small bend through that knee. Really focus on tightening through your core. Let's just bring out a march back through, please. So we're keeping it again nice and tight through the core. We're going to take a side lunge out and bring back in. So as we come out, stabilise leg in the middle, keeping the foot down as best as we can, and we squeeze back up. So coming out to the side, exhale again. If this doesn't suit you, you can just take a side step and back out. Tight through core and in. So really, again, focus. Make sure you have a chair if you're needing to for these exercises and back in. Focus on the exhaling up and back through and let's march in. We are now going to take the other side again, please. So really focus on tight through the core again. Bring it up nice and tall. We take a deep breath. And we get ready, out to the side and in. So step and exhale up. And let's march that one back through. We're gonna take a step out in front now. So again, keeping nice and tight through the core. When we are ready, we'll take your first leg. So let's just keep that march through till the buzzer goes this time. Deep breath, 
tuck through, step, exhale up. Step and exhale back through. Taking one more and I'm going to bring back through and again bring our march back through as we'll come into the other leg. So you can take that little break if you're needing to just to catch your breath, tuck through, step it out in front and back through. Exhale up. Deep breathing. And let's just bring up and march back through, please. We're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to take those step behinds now. So we take tuck through that core as you step back, front leg. So if I come sideways, step, squeeze your bottom. So step back, squeeze up, step back, up. So it's a small hinge from the hip, using your bottom. So stepping back, squeeze through your bottom. So it pulls back up. Focusing on a point on the floor if we're needing to. Let's just march that one back through. So again, we're really tight through that core, stabilizing through the foot, bend through that stabilized leg, through the knee. As you step back, focus on pulling through the glute to bring yourselves back into standing position. So again, find a focal point on the floor to help. Tuck that core in. And let's just bring our march back through. Now taking a deep breath through again, let's just bring that heel tap through in front and we're gonna swing those arms through. So we're gonna start a little bit sooner than our buzzer. So when the buzzer goes, keep moving through. Tight through core, please. Alternating heel tap through with a swinging arm. So if you're wanting to bring that up a little more again, you can come back to a double pump through the arms rather than an alternating. Find that focus on your breathing again. And let's just shake through those legs as we bring it back up into standing position. Coming into your box step and again, let's march these arms through. Box step, we're going to start with your right leg. Right, left, please. So right, left, right, left. Now again, Bend through, out in front. So you come into a squat, squat, up, up. It's right, left, right, left. If we're wanting to stay up a little bit more upright, please do. take one more as I come back to the march and we're going to take the opposite direction so your left right step 
And again, we can bring that bend through the knee a little bit more. So taking it into a little bit of a squat in front, tuck through again, left, right, left, right. Just down, down, up, up. So really pull that breathing in again. And let's bring our march through. We're gonna take that four count step now. So when it comes to that four count step, we step out, step, back, step. So it's one, two, three, four. So when we're ready, let's bring that through. One, two, three, four. Little bit of a hip movement through here. So just take this nice and easy. Take that deep breath through. Take one more through for me and let's just bring that little march back through and get ready to come into the other side. Nice deep breathing again when you're ready. Step two, three, four. Again, really focus on that breathing as we're coming through. One more again, and just gonna march that one through. So I'm gonna keep it nice and tight through my core again. We're going to take an alternating step out this round through. So you'll step out, exhale back together. Step, exhale back through. So out, exhale, changing legs, alternating through. Deep breathing, exhale up. And let's march back through. Now I'm gonna to pop to the side again as we come into our grapevine step. So a step together and heel through. So step, grapevine through and heel kick up. So again, you can stay with the side to side step. Double step over or we increase through to the grapevine. We're just gonna swing those arms, alternating them through. Finished up for that round. I'll just get you to come though into a heel kick through behind. Just take a few nice deep breaths. We're just gonna slow it down before we grab our drink. Side to side step, please. And let's just take that heel through in front with our side to side step. So awesome job with our cardio movement circuit. Heart rate is definitely up. So let's just bring it down through, shaking out your legs now. We'll grab ourselves a little drink. I will get you to come back down onto chairs, palms up in your postural position and take some really nice deep breaths before we start our stretch.
Okay, so we're back down on our chairs in our nice postural position. So the shoulders, hips, knees, feet directly underneath, tight through the core, palms are up towards the roof. And we're just going to focus on some nice deep breathing first. So again, flatten out through that rib cage area. If you're tucking back, really just pull it through, flatten through and keep it nice and tight through the core as you take your nice deep breaths. Relax through your shoulders and relax through your chest as well. Okay, we're going to come now into your hip stretch first. So keeping it tight through the core, keeping your postural alignment as best as we can. We bring the foot up, holding onto ankle and we put a little bit of pressure down onto the knee. Now I know this stretch doesn't suit everyone, so just stay in your nice postural position, focusing on your breathing if you're needing to. Just release that leg please, swapping the feet and come to the other side. So we hold on to ankle, take the deep breath in. As you exhale, pressure down onto that knee. Again, being mindful of your alignment through your body and your breathing. Just release that one out and we're going to come with our bottoms a little further closer to the front of the chair. Bring the legs into the 90 degree position. Now we keep tight through the core. Move forward and press the knees backwards, please. So we're stretching out through your inner thigh. Again, really focusing on your breathing. And let's just release and bring the knees back together. We're going to come into standing position for your hip flexor stretch. So beside the chair, Foot up into a 90 degree position. We are flat through the front of your hip and we'll take an arm straight up, please. So just focus on that breathing again, really slowing it down. I'm gonna release the arm down and we're going to bring the leg that's straight up behind now, sorry, into a quad stretch. Again, keeping it tight through your core keeping the knees together as best we can. And we're going to take a deep breath in now, please. As you exhale, press the foot back into the hand. So stretch a little more through the quad and that hip flexor. So let's just bring it through, releasing and shaking it through. Come with the foot behind and we'll take the arm up over to the side, please. Let's just release that one. Come to swapping the feet, tucking through and again, taking the arm over. Take a deep breath now, please, and release the arm down and come to the other side. So we'll take the leg up first, hip flexor stretch. So a nice and flat through the front of your hip. When you're ready, take an arm straight up, please. Take a deep breath and just bring that arm down, swapping the leg and bringing the foot up behind on your stable leg. Now we're gonna stretch from the hip flexor down into the quad. So continuing on that leg. Let's take a deep breath in now, please. And again, we increase the stretch through a little more by pressing the foot back into the hand. Just bring that in and shake that through. Now we're going to come again beside the chair, a foot in front of the other, and take the arm up to the side, please. Let's just release that one down and swap your feet. Again, tuck through and bring the arm up. Come in for our hamstring stretch next, please. So just come in behind your chairs. It's a small step back and we step. So the toe is in alignment with the heel, postural position and you hinge forward. Bottom is back and your front leg is nice and straight. So we are behind the chairs. If you're needing to use that, please do. Again, please remember your postural position. So no twisting through the back, through the hips. Core is tight, stretching through the front leg, through the hamstring. Now we'll just release that, bring yourselves up a little. 
Bring the toes up and again, let's just pop your bottom back and bring the stretch a little lower down through the leg. Take a deep breath and just release. Come to the other side. So together hip width first, small step and again, hinge back, front leg is nice and straight. Focusing on your breathing. Let's just release, bring the toes up and please take that bottom back again. Just release and come into a split stance position. Again, always posturally aligned. Hips are parallel to chair. The heel is down on your back leg, stretching out through your calf. I'm gonna take a deep breath in now, please. As you exhale, bend your back knee slightly. And let's exhale, release through, take the other side. Heel is down. Nice deep breathing. Take that deep breath in please. As you exhale, bend your back knee slightly. Take a deep breath and let's bring it up. I'm going to take your upper body stretch next. So popping the chairs away if you're needing to. Tight through that core, please. Take your arm across in front, palm in towards the body, and we're going to keep the arm as straight as possible. Relax through your shoulder and just pull it in close. Now, again, depending on your range of motion and, and limitations through the shoulder, you may need to leave this one out and or we'll just take it within your restrictions. So just a nice small stretch, nice deep breathing, releasing through and the other side, please. So palm in towards the body. Relax through the shoulder, focus on your breathing. And release. Tight through that core, we're going to take the hands link and arch your back out, please. So pulling the hands as far away from your body as you can, stretching out. And we're gonna bring that back up. Now take the palms together and we're taking the arms out to the side with the palms going back. So nice stretch out through your bicep. Again, nice deep breathing. Let's bring your hands down behind and link, please, now. So we're going to come in to take your nice deep breaths to finish up class. Stepping out a little wider, turning those toes out, tucking the core in, keeping the chest up. Bring your arms out. We inhale down and exhale up, please. So we inhale down, exhale one, inhale down, Exhale two, inhale down, exhale three, inhale down and exhale up four. I'm gonna take a nice little shake through. Um, thank you for joining me with today's session. I really hope you've enjoyed our cardio workout in a circuit-based setting. I look forward to seeing you in our next one and take care until then.